Hi everyone, I'm Tony. We're building a cruising sailboat. Well, she is, or at least some of her. When you're doing a project like this, there's quite a lot of decisions you have to make. Um, that's good, you know, each, each builder is, is left to make quite a few decisions on their own to make their boat individual. Um, the designers leave a fair bit of leeway in their plans so, so that you can make your own decisions. And other things, perhaps small things you want to change from the plans because it makes them suit you better in some way. Uh, and that's excellent, you know, it takes a lot of research, a lot of thinking and you make your decisions. One of those decisions you have to make is how you want to get in and out of your boat. And there are varying opinions on that. Um, even when you look at Benford dory builders, this is a J. Benford designed sailing dory. Um, some people have some kind of a hatch in here that they climb down in, um, so everything here is sealed. Um, I'm inclined to think they tend to be shorter people than me, but anyhow, you can go in, you can have some kind of entrance way here that seals down. Um, some people like doors here, hinged doors. Um, as you can probably tell, I've gone for washboards. There are advantages to all of them, and, and you you make your decision based on your preferences and where it is you wish to sail. Um, you know, there are arguments clearly for sailing down here if, if you think you're going to be sailing, I don't know, Southern Ocean, Northern Atlantic, you probably want something that's going to seal properly. For me, I like washboards because I can take them out and get a nice big opening in the boat, lots of air, lots of light in there. Um, and obviously you can have one in when you're sailing if you think it's kicking up a bit. Leave one open, you've got various options of how they fit. Um, recently heard a, read a criticism of washboards and, and somebody said, the problem is you never know where to store them, but when they're not in place, but it's not a problem either lad. Um, you just gotta, you know, think it through, haven't you? Anyhow, washboards, there they are. Now these washboards have been going on for a long, long time. The clip you saw at the start was episode 109 of the, of the first building of these washboards. We're now on episode 148, 39 episodes ago, which must be roughly speaking 39 weeks ago. It's getting towards a year ago that I started making these washboards and I think they're probably not even, not quite finished now. They're in position. But I don't think they're 100% finished. Been going on a long time. And a couple of weeks ago, I said I'd, I'd tell you the story of, of one of the reasons why these washboards have taken so darn long. And uh, this week, we're going to deal with that.
the outside and it's the inside. Lovely. That's nice. That's a good stiff move as well. See, I put these very nice brassy vents, brass vents, in the washboards. Look lovely, I think you'll agree. Unfortunately, has anybody spotted the not in the slightest deliberate mistake? I've put it in the wrong board. So now I'm going to take it out again. It's supposed to be in the top board. Put it in the top board and do some imaginative repair work on the bottom board. Oh, what fun! This side.
Right. And there we are. There they are in position. And uh, I guess that's it for this week. Please hit that subscribe button. Help these videos get out to a wider audience. Leave a comment. Um, and thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.